Hi everyone, I don't usually do these where I show my face and all that, but I'm so excited about this new app and Chrome extension that I wanted to make an exception about this announcement. So you might have seen my post yesterday, but we are officially ready for you to start using our new app and Chrome extension. So I wanted to go ahead and I did share a link with a video that explains how to get started, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of one-on-one -on -one attention when it comes to really using this app and Chrome extension. So just to start off, the app is available on Android and iOS. So if you have an iPhone, if you have a Galaxy, whatever, we made sure that you can use it no matter what. And then the Chrome extension, a lot of people might think, ah, I can skip that. But honestly, the Chrome extension is where it really streamlines the process for you. So I'm gonna show you in just a second um, how I personally think you could use this to your advantage. However, I, I already have a few different ideas of how this could be used for many different purposes. But overall right now, let's walk before we run. Now I did mention in my post that there might be a few bugs, so we are about to push an update actually already, and that fixes most of them. If you see any that you that you notice, please let me know. So shoot an email to info at thescholarshipsystem.com and we will make sure that we're keeping track of all of those so that we can get them fixed. So I hope that you use it because it really can streamline the process, and I, I think that we'll all just will really find that it truly simplifies what we're doing even more than we already have. So now, to before I show you how to use it, I wanna tell you the main benefits and, and where our thought process was behind creating this app and Chrome extension partnership. So really, one of the things that I've learned while talking to students and families over the past couple years, I guess, is that a lot of times you'll you'll do great at finding this list of awesome scholarships that meet the requirements and you're eligible for and all that stuff. And some of you might even be tech savvy and use an Excel spreadsheet with the links so that you can click them and all that. Others, maybe you just have a sheet of notebook paper, which when I was doing it, that was definitely some of the options for me. Um, but what this app does is it turns your process of storing all the information, all the scholarships that you've found, and puts it on an app so that you don't miss a deadline again. So again, going back to one of the things that I hear from everyone is that you know, you're either using paper or maybe a spreadsheet or something of that nature that you've kind of repurposed to keep track of the scholarships you want to apply to. But then I've, I've talked to so many students who found dozens of scholarships, and I won't call out names, but I'm sure some of you will know that I've already talked to you about it and said, oh my gosh, this app is gonna be perfect for you. But they you, maybe they find dozens of scholarships and then they forget to go back and check the file or the Excel spreadsheet or their notebook paper to see when the next deadline's coming up. And so before they know it, the next time that they revisit that file, three of the deadlines have passed and now they have to start all over again. So that is what we want to try to avoid by using this app and Chrome extension. So that's one of the biggest, biggest benefits in my opinion is that all of the scholarships are in one place, it's a clickable link, it's easy to store, and it gives you notifications so that you don't miss a deadline again. So rather than having that, that file put away somewhere on the computer, it's right there accessible so that you can make sure that it doesn't happen again. Also, another benefit of this really comes with the Chrome extension. So one of the big things that we talk about is using my Google keyword method. And when you're using that, you're probably finding you maybe all tons of tabs open, but typically you'll be on a browser on your computer. What we did was we created a Google Chrome extension so that now you have a button in the corner of your browser where you can just click it and it'll pull the scholarships information as much as it can and then you can enter the rest of the information like the dollar amount, the years, uh, did you apply to it yet, which of course at, when you first find it is not yet, uh, and hit save and it syncs to the app. So rather than sitting there on your phone trying to do this process on your phone, we brought it to the browser as well and they sync together. So those are just a couple of the benefits and we're gonna continue building this out, but I wanted to make sure that I explained to all of you personally 
why we created this and how I think it's going to help. And I hope that you take advantage of this free tool. It's completely free and, and really streamline the process even more. So with that said, let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly how to use it. And this is going to be a live demo. So you just hang in there with me. And, uh, if there's a, again, back to the bugs, if there's a few, I apologize, but we'll definitely get it fixed. So just give me one second and we'll flip over to my screen. Okay, so here is a scholarship that I found. I believe I shared this on the page, but it's a cyclist scholarship. And there's multiple in here, but um, maybe I you know, would do some digging to find out which one specifically I wanted to apply to if I was the student. So maybe it's the Cuck, maybe it's the Stenner, whichever. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight some information about it because I want to keep that information. Now, if you look at a scholarship and it shows you the essay prompt and it shows you that it wants three recommendation letters, any kind of information like that, that would be perfect to highlight. There's different sections for every other piece of information. So any kind of notes that you'd want to take, if you highlight it, it'll, it'll pre-populate. So I'll show you how that's going to work. So then after installing the Chrome extension, and if you don't know how to install the Chrome extension, you can go to the Chrome Web Store. And look up, go to the Chrome Web Store. And then type in the scholarship system. And that's all you have to do. And then you can click Add to Chrome. Now, because I already have it, it just says Rate It. But which, which I would love, by the way, if you find this helpful, I didn't even think about that. If you find this helpful, I would love for you to rate this. But you come here and it's right here and you just click add to Chrome, like how you see this button, but make sure it's the scholarship system. Add to Chrome and it's easy as that. And then you log in once you click it. So for me, because I'm already logged in, I'm going to go ahead and click the button up here. It's a graduation cap. Oh, okay. So it actually asks me to log in. So it says successful and it'll just close. So if it closes, it's okay because there's no site that you need. It's all in this button. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on the button since now I'm logged in. And did you see that it populated the name, the link, and then you can go ahead and fill in the dollar amount. You can fill in, is it a one year or is it for all four years? So you can choose which year. Now say that you are in high school. That would mean that you're most likely applying for money for your first year. But if you're a freshman right now in college and you're about to be a sophomore, then you would choose second year because you're working on this money for your second year. And if you're a sophomore, you're working on it for your third and so on and so forth because that helps you keep track. I'll show you the gold tracker at the end of this, but that helps you keep track of where the money is actually going to be used. So I'm just going to go ahead and say second year for this. Submission status. Well, we haven't submitted yet. We just found it. So we'll put in process. Have we won yet? Well, we're not sure yet, but hopefully we will. And when's the deadline? It says April 15th on there, but I think it was actually um, May 9th for 2016, which is weird. They need to update their site. Now the cool part here is you can see in the description section all the notes that I hired uh, that I uh, highlighted. So if you highlight the essay prompt or the requirements, the recommendation letter requirements, all of that, it will populate right in there, and then you can type in uh, whatever notes you want to be you want to put in there. There we go. And you can hit save, so it says scholarship successfully added, and now it syncs with the app. So I'm going to go ahead and show you from my app screen what that looks like. One moment. Okay, so we are on my screen of my phone. I got this cool tool where I can show it to you, and you can see that I already, in I already installed the scholarship system app. But if you do want to, if you haven't installed it yet, I'm just going to show you quickly the app store. What you do is you type in the scholarship system in the search bar and it'll come up and it's the same thing with uh, Android phones and you'd click install but since I already have it, it says open. So let's go back to the app. So you can skip the intro unless you want to watch it. Now if you haven't already created a login through the app, then you want to go ahead and register that way all your information stays safe in one place for you. 
Then since I already have my login, I click login, oops, and it'll automatically log me in like you saw. It saves my information, which is very, very helpful. Now you can see here, this Collegiate Scholarships is the one that I already, that I just added. And you can see that we have the deadline, the dollar amount, the website. Yes, there is a typo. <laughs> That's one of the things we're fixing. Um, is it in process? And actually this one, um, I went ahead and before this, I, I did click that. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that back to no. And you can see, just like what I did, it's so easy to edit a scholarship. So you just hit edit, you can change whatever you want, the due date. And then we have our notes and our I love this scholarship, uh, scholarship comments. So now say that we get back and we did submit this. So let's edit it and we have, okay, we submitted it. And did we win it? We'll say yes and hit save. So that's been updated. So yes, it's submitted. Yes, we want it. If you go to Dollar Tracker for year two, because that's the year that I selected it for, you can see that it says you secured $1,500. So that is the scholarship that we just said that we won. And the $8,000, you can edit when you click update my goals. It takes you to your profile page. You can see that in here I haven't really filled it all out but you can set all your goals for your first year, second year, third year, fourth year. And this is helpful because, you know, maybe you have different expenses as you go on through college. So this is great because rather than just assuming that your expenses are the same every year, this lets you break it out by year and lets you show scholarships by year and how close you are to your goal by year. So the rest of the information is pretty generic. I want that information in here because in the future we do hope to offer scholarships as well based on these qualifications. So make sure you fill out your, your profile page. And don't forget at the end here, if you are a member, which all of you are, then you'd wanna hit yes. You can hit update and you'll be done. So there is your, your profile. So that is about it. It's a pretty simple app. It You can see here it lists other scholarships that I have. It sorts it by the due date. You can filter it by the, by the school year if you have a lot in here. Um, but really it's, it's very simple for a specific reason. We are solving the issue with the fact that students miss deadlines because there's no tool out there to remind them and to keep all the, the information in one safe place. So this, this is solving that and then also solving really tracking your goals. So I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that this video was helpful and I can't wait to hear your feedback on this. Again, if you like it, I would love for you to leave a review on this so that soon we can start launching this to people outside of the course. So again, let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'm excited to get started on this. Thanks.